continue to pay our respects for the celebration of life for Elfrida Colossa. Who is all is Elfie? <laughs> life taken away too soon. I would like everyone to form a circle if you can. Join hands or just sure. grab each other's hands and take a moment of silence. People showed up to you, Alfie. Let it rain. I got to spend the last seven months of Elf's journey here with her every day. Something that I will cherish the rest of my life. She was a true friend. But let us see the blessings set forth in her passing. Elf was there to greet her mom with Rosie. She got to spend Mother's Day with her mom. And she was able to heal her son's heart by reuniting his relationship with his stepdad, Jimmy. Who she'd never stop loving. I do know that Elfie loved. She loved us all with all her heart. She is now at peace with Spanky and Kitty. I have written a poem in remembrance to my dear friend, and I promise to keep it short. Elfie, each day with you was special. It is so hard to express. I loved your voice, your laughter, and your heartful tenderness. Your joyful, playful spirit was such a contagious one. Every time in your presence was always so much fun. I enjoyed our special times together, searching for heart-shaped rocks. It's heartbreaking to realize that we are now so far apart. You were truly amazing and beautiful in so many ways, sincere, loyal, and giving through all of your earthly days. I wish that I could hug you. Why did you have to go? These days are hard without you, but this you ought to know. I am peaceful knowing you are with me by giving me the signs we recently spoke about. You have let me know there is no reason ever to doubt. When my days come to join you in that peaceful place, I'll wrap my arms around you and give you a huge embrace. Love you, Elsie. Great job, Deb. Justin, come take over, please. Feel really put on the spot right now. <laughs> I had nothing written down. I had no plans on speaking some grand thing, but um, I guess the only way someone lives on is through the memories, right? And it seems like not even just since she's passed. But every time I looked in the rearview mirror, I remember coming back the first time my mom moved up here. And the first time I got to drive, Jimmy and my mom picked me up at the airport and said, drive. So, 15, 16 years old, about five minutes in, my mom's already planting seeds in my brain. She said, without looking in the rearview mirror, Tell me the color of the car and how far they are behind you. I had no fucking idea, so I just, I looked in the mirror. <laughs> so I don't, I told you not to look. So now that you have, what color, how far? Every time I look in a mirror, it's my mom speaking to me. Every time I take a pull shot, there's going to be a plane of power out of Congress. My mom made telling me how to do something make sense. She had a way 
and dad I love you for a lot of things but my dad was like don't do drugs I'll kick your ass <laughs> <laughs> my mom's like don't do drugs but if you do get them from me and they're clean at least <laughs> you in the backyard right so many of the same <coughs> lessons but for whatever reason maybe and I even hate to put it in context like this maybe because there was a lot of things I missed out with my mom that when she told me something I took it to heart I don't have much to say I'd actually prefer to hear something about my mom that I might not know so just know that please speak of her name often think of the kind things talk about her talk to each other about her but uh, if anybody else has anything that they would like to say like I said I would love to hear something I may not know Jimmy Hi everybody. Who are you? So you know that Elf and I spent a lot of time together. Um, met Justin through Elf. Met Mike through Elf. Met a lot of you guys through Elf. We came to Durango together, and it was it was an awesome thing for both of us. So I have something. Basically, I as far as speeches and things I, it, that's hard for me but we shared a lot with each other so I went through a lot of the things that I have and I have a love letter from her which is pretty nice dearest sweetest Jimmy sometimes I become moody and hard to understand but I want to let you know that just because I have problems I can't always find solutions for I regret that it ends up involving you and your emotions I love you, babe, more than anyone ever has, and I'm sure more than anyone else ever will. I just wanted you to know that. I expect that right now you can't understand this, but I'm sure that one day you will look back at this and you will understand. You may even smile thinking of all the wonderful moments we shared. When that time comes, just remember that I do love you with all my heart and soul, and hopefully someday I will make you not only the happiest man alive, but also make you mine for eternity. Forever yours with all my love, Elfrida. So it's like she could tell that we were going to get back together someday. So I wanted to write her the last love letter that I'll probably write for her. Dearest Elfie Joe, which is what we what I called her back. It's been six in this. It was hard for me because it was a present tense and it was a, a past tense. It's been 16 years since I've seen you, but when I saw you again, it felt like it was just yesterday. I was so very excited and happy to see you. The love and emotions I've always had for you came rushing back. A friend had returned. At one time, you were my best friend, the person I told all my secret feelings. When I was happy, I shared my happiness with you. When I was angry, I took it out on you. We were there to listen and help each other through, and we have been through so much with each other and had so much fun together. No matter how we look today, when I saw your eyes, I remembered them. Your beautiful eyes have always held so much emotion. I could tell exactly how you were feeling by how you looked at me. I have seen the love for me come through your eyes like I have never felt before. Not just words, but true love that shine through them from your soul. I was amazed by them when they showed you true satisfaction. When you were sad, I could see the hurt you felt through them. I felt it with you and wanted to do anything to protect you and take away your pain. They could show anger too. They could cut through me and make me feel an inch tall. It killed me to know that I disappointed you in some way. I wish I would have handled that with more confidence, not to think that you didn't love me just because you were upset. I have always been attracted to you from the first time we met. You are as cute as can be. 
your energy and personality shine from you like a bright light, also attracting all that meet you. It was never dull or boring being with you. You could do something or say something that would make me shake my head, wondering where that came from. Your mind was incredible. I thought so many times you were going to bust from all the thoughts you had. As long as I w was with you, you were always ready for adventure, never scared of a new place or a predicament we were in. I loved your excitement and my excitement when I was with you. Whenever we walked into a room together, I was proud to have you by my side. When I put my arm around you, you tucked in so perfectly. It felt like it was meant to be when we were together. So many times we had the same thoughts at the same time, then would smile at each other for being so much in sync. We didn't have a lot of time with each other since we reunited, and I'm not sure where we were heading, but I know I wanted to see much more of you. You left me and everyone that loves you way too soon. I know I will never stop thinking about you. There have been so many things that remind me of you, especially rocks, many, many rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I have moved so many rocks. <laughs> I got more. I, yeah, <laughs> I miss not being able to kiss you and feel your hand in mine. I miss the special sound of your voice. She, Justin and I were talking about her voice. She just had that voice unique. that was yes. a unique voice. She never snorted. She never snorted. Snortled. I'm I'll not miss... my mom out right now, guys. I laugh at snorts. <laughs> I'll miss your smiles. I'll miss your laughter. I'll miss the way you looked at me. I'll miss the love you had for me. You were right when you said I would never meet anyone that loved me the way that you did. I know it is said that you're in a better place, but I can't help wish that you were here with us. I love you all. Great job, we, had a, we had a good relationship. Um, spent 16 plus years with her and we went through a lot of things together. Um, got to see Justin grow up. Justin's the closest thing to a son that I'll, I'll ever have. And so I love you, man. And it's so good that you and I have got back together. You're here. Woo. Yeah. I'm going to miss her. I know everybody here is going to miss her. It sucks. Um, but it's also really nice that how much we love her. So let's just keep loving each other the way that we love Elf. Hmm. Right on that. Good day, everyone. Um, I want to put a little spiritual twist on life in this situation. <sighs> First and foremost, <clears throat> there is really no death. When people pass on, it's like they've just moved and graduated to the next realm. Sorry, I'm going to take this off. Um, I've seen and experienced more of Elfie in the last few weeks since her passing. Um, Elfie was a person that... When you knew her, you knew her for life. A lot of us, when she moved to Arizona, you know, we became out of touch. When she came back, she was always in our heart. Um, but the spirit lives on is basically my message and my point. The spirit never dies. And it's important to know and to shift your perspective and your consciousness that Elfie is everywhere now. She's not just in the physical, but she's in every tree. She's in the air. She's in every flower. <clears throat> but interestingly enough, we all know that otter was Elfie's totem. She loved otters. And otters represent playfulness and childlike innocence. And that is the one thing that I can say that I loved so much about Elfie is that she possessed all of the beautiful everything about the mineral kingdom, her rocks, 
the plant kingdom and the animal kingdom. And she loved nature. And nature is her world. That's her realm. That's always been Elfie's realm in all the years that I've known her. And rock hunting, I have so many experiences. <laughs> Jimmy and Eric have a lot <laughs> in common with the rocks. Um, but she was also one of those people that could see faces in rocks. Not everybody can see the face in the rock like Elfie could and I could. We spent a lot of times when you guys first got your house in the rocks and more rocks and more rocks. And every one of them had a meaning <laughs> and a purpose. And it had an adventure behind it. So, you know, it's really about celebrating who Elfie is, not was, who she is. Okay? Her spirit is very much so alive. Her soul is alive. She is with us and always will be. She's brought us all here together. There's always a lot of miracles and blessings that come out of tragedy. And we need to focus on those blessings. And we need to focus on the miracles. And we need to focus on the love. Many of you might have already had this experience with Elf, but her spirit winged totem that she is going to be on the earth plane so that you will know that Elfie is with you is going to be through Hummingbird. <laughs> when she came to me and told me, I was like, oh my God, Elf, that is so perfect for you. Think of Elfie and then think of a hummingbird. That is Elfie. <laughs> flitter, 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 flitter talking 100 miles an hour. Um, so she she definitely, we have a hummingbird that we absolutely know is Elfie. So make your sweet water, hang your hummingbird feeders, feed the hummingbird nation, and I guarantee you one of those hummingbirds will be her spirit, and she will unequivocally let you know that it is her. So... Let's, yeah. So the, the, the week that I came up after my mom passed, I'm actually sitting on Jimmy's back porch. Have you guys all been out to Jimmy's house before oh, wow. and been on that back porch? Oh, wow. I can't tell you how many conversations I've had with my mom on that porch. I'm standing there talking to my mom by myself. My eyes are closed, and instantly, I felt a buzz behind my head. It wasn't a buzz, it was flapping. I know what it was, it was a hummingbird. Came around, as I opened my eyes, it's right here, six inches, five inches in front of my face, staring straight at me, the chest was purple. I mean, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Justin. That is precious. And those are the kind of memories that Elfie wants us to all hold. And that's what she wants us to hold in our hearts, is the laughter and the memories and things that make us happy and uplift us. That's a beautiful story because I actually, she when she came to download her message to me, I immediately, uh, Jimmy was in, in Arizona with Justin and his dad at the time when I told him about the hummingbird and that's exactly right that's what she does we have a particular hummingbird that comes right to our face about six inches and it sits there and just flutters its wings right in your face well that's Elfie okay so she will make it very very known and she's asked me to communicate that you know, again, the spirit always lives on. I've always been a person that can communicate to people on the other side. And that's her message of how much she loves each and every one of you. And with that, I have a special message for Deb. Deb, when she came back here, she was discombobbled, a little befuddled, <laughs> not really knowing where her little hummingbird ass was going to land. <laughs> okay? And... She landed right in the palm of your hands, and you have been an incredible 
support system and friend for her in this time, space, and era of Elfie's life. You know, many of us have, you know, businesses, children, grandchildren, life, and things like that. Elfie was a very sacred person, and I want everybody to know that about Elfie. She was very sacred. She was very into nature. She was kind of a recluse in her own right, you know. She just loved finding her rocks and connecting with somebody that could understand spirituality and the meaning behind nature and animals and all of her wonders about heaven and the other side. And Deb, you you were that friend. You were that friend in, in, in the now for her. And she's asked me to tell you how much she loves you, appreciates you, respects you, and has so much honor for you. And that she's going to harass the hell out of you. Okay? <laughs> All of you, besides two people, I met through Elfie. So thank you for letting me get to your family also. Thank you. Thank you. And thank every one of us. You know, a lot of us go back. Randy, Kelly, Fish, Scooter, the, from the time he was in diapers. Yeah. <laughs> literally. Um, all of us, you know, and everybody has their own. Uh, Kevin, Jimmy, Jack, all of you. You know, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all... We all have very special memories and, and history, and it's about that history. And it's about remembering how she lived and the memories that she made with each and every one of us during her time lapses in life. And so let's remember, you know, and celebrate uh, her very uplifting, happy self. You know, Elfie was always happy. Elfie wouldn't want people to mourn too long cry too long or grieve too long that's just not Elfie Elfie was a very happy person and very much so in nature so anytime you're in nature even if it's not the hummingbird just know that she is in every aspect of all that is created in divine oneness and divine likeness and created by our creator and our creatress cosmic mother and cosmic father also, may we all be blessed on our journey and know that everything happens for a reason and our time is only borrowed here. But when we leave this experience in this earth plane, we don't die. And I can tell you, every single person that's passed away that has been our brother or our sister, the first message that they ask me to bring is that there is no such thing as death. So I'm here to bring that message today. We only live on, and I promise you, there is a mission. God has a plan for this world and His and Cosmic Mother and Father's creation. We are the children, and there is a, a plan. And we're all going to be reunited with all of our loved ones and our family members. And that's something, I promise you. And I know that that's new on the horizon. So love and light and blessings to everybody, and let's celebrate in peace and harmony and love and light, Elfie's light in her love. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Randy, you want to come up here? I, know. I do. <laughs> I do. Fish. I already knew that answer. <laughs> I already knew that one. Thank you, and bless everybody on your journey. Jimmy and Elfie were the first people I met in Durango. Uncle Randy introduced me to you guys. And when you guys split up, we clicked. She's proud, or so proud of you, Dustin. Your daughter. Oh. 
the fun we had the last seven months incredible we were at dad's house and she wanted me to she wanted to show me some rocks little sand pellets that were round and on the way she's picking up deer shit look at these rocks fish look look and i'm looking at them and i squash one and i'm all that's deer shit she goes, <laughs> prove it show me so i showed her and she goes do it again so i grabbed her little hand and squashed it and then she started snorting <laughs> and the discombobulated thing hilarious always saying that always talking about your truck Dano, uh, the time we had in Vegas when I lived with her down in Arizona for a while. Fine. That's all I got to say. I love you, man. Great job, fish. All right, I know this is all tough, so if no one else has anything to say, I think we can get on to a little bit lighter mood because as inspirational and thoughtful as all this is, man, I've shed a lot of tears just now. So I don't know what time food is supposed to be getting there, but I'm fucking hungry. And can we do one last thing? Get to the to my dad, because without both of them, I wouldn't be here. And um, maybe you guys would all be doing this without us, but... Um, thanks for being here, Dad. Absolutely. Thank you, Mike. I probably don't even need this microphone, but... <coughs> I'm going to try not to get emotional. It's not one of my strong suits. But um, I met Alfred in a different time, in a different way than most of you guys knew um, I met her at a very young age in a little town called Fountain Hills, and she was just so full of life. Thank you. Shit. She's like a magnet, not to just anybody and everybody, but to anybody and everybody. <laughs> I never met anybody that met so many people, no matter what they were, who they were. She left a little bit of herself for those people. I do know, Jimmy, she loved you a hell of a lot. I know that last time that you guys split up, me and her had a hard part that me and her never had before. She made it very clear how much you meant to her. <clears throat> and she wanted to know what I think she could do to make it stop, to make it not end. And I asked her, did, you, did she ever really tell you, really with all her heart, how much she loved and cared about you? And she said she didn't think she'd, she'd done that. She didn't think she'd made it clear enough. And I said, well, you need to do that before, before it's too late. I don't know if that ever happened, but I know the best thing that could have ever happened to her was what happened recently between you and her. Best thing that I could ever imagine that happened for her is a reunite with you, man. Um, she loved you a special kind of way. And, uh, you know, that's hard to find. It's hard to find in a lifetime. And uh, it's unfortunate that it had to end for you, brother, because I really believe better times were ahead for you too. Um, having said that, I just wanted to make a little comment on the rocks. <laughs> <clears throat> the best thing I've ever done in my entire life was to have that young man right there. He's my best friend. I would die for him in a second. I would give everything I have to not have him one ounce of pain. And I thank you for giving him to me. I don't think it would have been any better from anybody else because he has so much of her in him. And to night it with the rock thing, he could act just like her. <laughs> He'd get me so mad that I'd say, you little son of a rock collector. <laughs> and so I'd stuck with him. And I, every once in a while when I get angry with him, I'll just call him a little son of a rock collector. And uh, because he could, he could have her temperament at times. But I just wanted to say I've never met 
in all my time, and I've had fathers and mothers and grandmothers and sisters, friends pass away, and I've never seen so many people love one little person so much, and I really appreciate you giving her that love. That's all I got. Thanks, Mike. Dano, she always talked about yeah, you too, bro. Yeah. Always. Dano is a, one of the OGs. <laughs> yeah, like I got it written down what I could say. <laughs> you know, and and then, <laughs> it's always like, and then, what are we going to do? Let's go. And then, uh, you can always count on waiting for help. For you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, uh, yeah. Man, just always being that, being able to get out there. Um, I don't know, maybe I was the edge, you know, of out there. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, we had a lot of crazy times out in the hills. Uh, I was just looking through things, remembering, remember the fire going up. And then have the big tubs ready to yep. fly out. <laughs> yeah, you wanted to go swimming. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, always keeping up. Being up, looking. You know, always looking up. Well, of course, looking up and looking down at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was nice because you always got a pretty good butt shot. So you can have a nice butt, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know what? And, uh... Yeah, I mean, we've talked of all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, there was that time when she almost took off before, you know, when she got cut. Yeah, bad deal. But anyway, she took it. Man, some of the things they had to do, man, she, like, ripped my hand off. Because <laughs> I was in there while they were doing some procedure, and it's like, whoa. But anyway... Um, yeah, I don't, you know, she's not going to be around like this anymore, but, you know, we can still be going like this, mm. you know what, and, uh, yeah, we all love her, and I do, and, yeah, someday, hopefully not too soon, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, never know, like I told mom, she tells me, here today, gone tomorrow, you never can tell. I mean, all the time, everywhere, but when it's here, it really hurts. But, you know, you just got to keep on doing it. So, you know, keep her in here and keep on doing it. Thanks, Dano. Thanks, Dano. Thanks, Dano. Kelly, for those of you that don't know me, but I think most of us know one another here. Um, Alfie's my soul sister. I met her in 94 when I came from California. I had the pleasure of meeting her and Jimmy. Lived up the road. Crazy times. People running over. People and shit. Uh, you know, I don't know. Nobody got shot that night. But anyway, no, um, a lot of life has happened, and then there was a time, you know, we all go our separate ways, but again with the soul sister. Um, I had been gone almost a year uh, doing some work out of, in Indiana, and um, came back for a visit. My family's here, my grandbabies and whatnot, and some friends took us out for dinner, and I'm so road tired and everything, I'm like, I really can't go out. Um, and I look... I'm like, I recognize that ass. <laughs> you know? I'm gonna go grab that ass, but I wasn't quite sure it was her. But there was Jimmy and you know, so I went ahead and grabbed her ass and called her name at the same time and it turned out okay. But um so uh it was random and it had I think that's how the universe works that way. 
because just before I had left, um, we had a nice visit for several hours out at Tico time. And um, like I said, there was that gap, but nothing ever changed. And you're just friends forever. I am really glad I chose not to go home and go to sleep because I wouldn't have seen her that night. And um, so we got a chance to um, catch up, if you will. She was happy to see me so happy. And um, it was really nice to see y'all together. And um, so I'm glad I captured that moment. Um, Cues to take too many pictures sometimes, but I sure am glad we have them. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna hang on to those. Uh, the day I got the call, uh, well, I just couldn't believe it, but I had a massage plan and I was like, man, I just can't fucking go to that. But I did. And, uh, you know, he had that whole, it was like two hour long deal and just trying to relax and everything. And the only picture, it was all black except purple and her, her face. So again, I'm glad I went with that. And I think that's what we just got to do is hang on to her memories. Critter with the shitter, I remember is what she was called, I believe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Her spirit, she was a fucking spaz. What do you mean? <laughs> you know, introduced her to Carl, she's talking, you know, nine miles an hour, and um, just, 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 it's got such a big heart, and um, I feel very blessed to have had her in my life. And, um, got a little otter around me here, and, um, just gonna hang on to those memories. Love y'all so much. I know she loved us and she just had a special way of loving. And I'm very glad I had that time with her. Thanks. Thanks, Kelly.